Please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. L'audience est ouverte. The prosecution will take the floor again to put questions to the witness. Witness, you are reminded to only provide the information that you yourself knew of, experienced, or observed. Please try not to provide a conclusion or a guess based on your personal understanding and it, as it does not have any legal weight in the court. Thank you. Vous nous dire ce que vous en avez compris, car euh, ce genre de témoignage ne peut pas servir à la Chambre. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon. Mr. Nonsopan. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Rebonjour, Monsieur Nonsopan. When we were looking at that last document that was addressed to respected Comrade Dawn, you said that these matters, the distribution of materials, were related to the office and that that's why they were sent to the Dawn. I'd like to show you another document vous that un mentions document Comrade Dawn and see if that Dorn may assist in elucidating further si Comrade Dawn's position. Your Honours, uh, this is document D200-9. Dot seven. Bar 9 .7. It's an attachment to the second record of interview. It's a second record of interview. The second record of interview. The President. Defence Council, you may proceed. The Defence de Kyo Sampan, you have the floor. Merci de me donner la parole, Monsieur le Président. Thank you for giving me Je suis the un petit peu surpris Mr. par la President. méthode du, du procureur depuis tout à l'heure, à savoir que nous avons un témoin qui nous a indiqué ignorer le he rôle de Doun, uh, et le procureur fait comme si cette réponse n'existait pas, comme si le témoin n'avait pas Dune. expliqué qu'il ignorait quel était le rôle exact uh, de Doun, et il continue de lui présenter des documents pour l'amener à faire des suppositions sur le rôle de cette personne. Vous venez, en introduisant et en ouvrant cette audience de l'après-midi, Monsieur le Président, de rappeler aux témoins May we remind the witness, Mr. President, this afternoon that the witness is here to testify as to what he knew at the time and what he can recall today. And in this regard, I wonder why the prosecutor is adopting this approach, persisting in asking the witness what the functions of the functions of the telegrams were, continuing to show the witness documents, to make the witness offer assumptions qui permettront de se faire une idée du rôle de ce M. Doun. Apparemment, euh, le témoin qui est aujourd'hui à la barre euh, n'en sait pas davantage que ce qu'il a bien voulu nous dire et je pense qu'il y a là des questions, une ligne de questions suggestives de la part de M. le procureur et je m'objecte donc à ce que ces questions continuent so à lui être posées. Donc, cette question qui a été posée au witness par le procureur est plutôt leading et je m'objecte à ça. Mr. President, if I may respond briefly, um, it is not correct to say that the witness has no knowledge whatsoever of Comrade Dorn. If I can remind the court, it was in his OCIJ statement that the witness described Dorn as an individual who may have been the chairman of an office working with Moon Chia or Kyu Sampan. Those were the witness's words. Avec Nunchia they ou avec 
one assumes, came Ce from his knowledge. Témoin, on peut um, he has also stated further that he understood Dawn to be tasked with matters relating to the distribution of materials, and that's why this document that we were looking at before was sent to Dawn. So what you have, Your Honours, is a, a base of knowledge about this individual um, that the witness has given us, and it is in my submissions entirely appropriate to explore further what the witness knows uh, and to see whether documents may refresh his memory. Now, the witness has just been reminded that he should not speculate. And with that instruction, uh, I think it is entirely appropriate to proceed. And if the witness does not have direct knowledge, if the documents do not assist him, he can simply say, I don't wish to speculate um, because I have no further personal knowledge. Um, to be attempting to block uh, my examination before the witness has been asked a question um, is entirely improper. Très brièvement, Monsieur le Président, il me semble Very briefly, que Mr. la réponse it would appear uh, écrite the du témoin answer lors de l'été interrogé par les juges d'instruction était déjà à l'époque une réponse à une suggestion, c'est-à-dire que si on lit uh, cette réponse, on voit qu'à l'époque, le témoin disait que oui, c'était peut-être ça, peut-être ça, peut-être ça. Alors maintenant, Monsieur le Procureur veut tenter de, de faire croire uh, que c'était une réponse claire alors que ça n'était pas le cas. Because believe that the answer was clear, whereas that was not the case. It appears that already in 2009, the answer may have been evasive, but the witness did say that he did not know. Please counsel, you should make it brief, and I just want to see how you feel regarding the proceeding and the procedure applicable before this chamber, usually you are only allowed to object once, once only. In the case of this procedure, you have the right to intervene only once for each objection. Defense counsel, Michael Canavas, you may proceed and please try to raise the new point rather than the old points raised by other defense counsel. Since the old points have already been applied by the prosecution. Thank you, Mr. President. I'll try to be brief. Uh, the prosecution began its questioning by trying to suggest to the witness that by showing him a series of documents, they would be able to somehow work, work out what Dune did. Now, uh, the prosecution mentioned what he said in his first statement, but then again in his second statement, again, the witness said, when, we, when asked about Dune, I have no grasp, perhaps, Perhaps he was working in the working group at Office 870. That's the best of his knowledge at the time when he was, when he was speaking to the investigators. Now, for the prosecution to try to attempt to construct some sort of knowledge by showing him documents is improper. And as my colleague indicated, there are other witnesses who can designate or who can tell us who Dune was. This is not one of them. Thank you. Je vous remercie. Thank you, Council. The Chamber also took note of this issue before the lunch break. For that reason, when we resumed, the Chamber immediately reminded the witness because the witness made a personal conclusion in his response, and at that time, the defense, no, none of the defense counsel actually stood and objected to his uh, witness, to his uh, response. And the prosecution, the prosecution has the right to put questions to the witness, but it is the witness's duty not to provide a guesstimation or a conclusion. Only his personal experience or personal observation or knowledge shall be provided in his response. Otherwise, you yourself, Mr. Witness, you will be bombarded with hundreds of questions that would impede you. Thank you, Mr. President. 
Mr. President, um, Le -procureur. I think in my learned friend Michael Carnavis' uh, objections is in part the answer to this issue. Dans the witness used the name Dawn. Yeah, the Mr. Carnavis nous donne en partie la réponse. The chamber already problem. ruled that you le can président. put your question. La chambre, la chambre it is the duty of the witness either to respond to your question or not. Thank you, Mr. President. I miss de savoir si I misunderstood the, the position. Um, the document that I wish to show the witness is a document he discussed with the investigators. It is D200-9.7. Uh, it is a, min, uh, a minute of, the, of a meeting of the Standing Committee dated the 9th of October 1975. Uh, with your permission, I'll give the witness a hard copy. Yes, you may proceed. Le président, allez-y. Thank you, Mr. President. Le procureur, merci, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Mr. Sopang, if you look over the page, this should be on the Monsieur second Sopang, page of your version, and I will give the relevant ERNs. Que vous avez. In Khmer 0019, in French 00292869, and in English 00183393. If you look at that page, Mr. Sopan, I want to ask you about one line in particular. Under number eight, we have Comrade Dawn, Chairman, Political Office of 870. Now, based on your knowledge at the time and without speculating, could you please tell us whether that position corresponds with your knowledge or understanding of Dawn's role and position? sont bien celles euh, qui, que vous aviez compris et But celles de Dawn. I informed the Réponse. judicial officers, including the investigators, the only investigation in the state, that I did not know who Dawn was. And regarding the appointment by the standing committee, to be in charge of a certain office or whatever, it was beyond my knowledge. Thank you. If I can move on from Duan and ask you some questions about the activities of Mr. Q. Sampan before we return to more examples of telegrams. I'm going to read this brief passage first in the interest of time and then Je vais vous lire un, un ask you some questions about it. Your Honours, this is in the first statement, Il du which is document D. Du témoin, le document D apologies, E3 le slash 64. E3 and the relevant ERNs are. Et in Khmer 0032-8033, in French 0041-701-702, and in English 0034-0532. This is 
the passage I wish to read to you. Question, what about Q Sampan? Answer, there used to be his messages which talked about what amount of salt, rice grain, cloth, clothing, shoes, and other materials to be sent to this and that unit for distribution to the people. He was the manager who managed and distributed various produced materials to the people. I did not receive messages from Q Sampan frequently. Besides that, I used to translate Q Sampan message in the form of directive circulars regarding various national ceremonies, for example. Full stop. Is that an accurate summary of your description of Mr. Q Sampan's role at the time? La description que vous avez donnée concernant le rôle de Kyo Sampan. Yes, that is correct. Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. I want to read another brief passage. Je vais vous lire um, un autre passage. Further down on the same, uh, in the same section of your statement. Dans la même partie de votre audition. Where you said the following. As for Q Sampan, he sent messages in handwriting through the K1 messengers, whose chairman was Sam. Sam then delivered Q Sampan messages to K1. Sometimes, Q Sampan phoned me and had me take note of his text on phone and he told me where to send that message. That text was then to be coded and then was transmitted. Is that also a correct summary of what you said to the investigators? Yes, that is correct. I used to receive messages from Kyo Sampan through some group, which were the messengers group. And sometimes he phoned me. Et parfois il me téléphonait. When Mr. Q. Sampan sent these messages using K1 messengers, do you know from which location he was, he was sending them? No, I did not know that. Réponse, non, je ne le savais pas. In the same statement, a little bit further down, and this is at Khmer ERN 0032835, French 00411703, and English 0034053. You will ask the following question. Did you ever receive any direct phone calls from the zone committee asking for an appointment? Answer, no, my phone line was connected to three places only, included Q Sampan, Yo, and K1. Is that correct? Is that a correct summary of your statement, Mr. Sopang, that you had a phone line connection to only three places? 
Mr. Kyu Sampan, and K1. Yes, that is correct. Oui. Do you know why it was necessary Question. for there to be a phone line between Savez, your office and the office of Mr. Q. Sampan? Il devait y avoir une ligne téléphonique entre votre bureau et celui de Q. Sampan. Usually, telegrams Réponse. and if it is in the form of a handwriting from him or if the message is, was not clear si or if a certain form has to be complied for si certain messages to be clear, sent ou si he himself of his working group would give a phone call to me to give such instructions. Pour ces instructions. So it means to facilitate the smoothness of the work. Cela permettait de faciliter le travail. When Mr. Q. Sampon Question delivered these messages to your office to be um, transmitted, were they coded à votre bureau by you and your staff before soient being transmitted? Que vous et votre devez les avant de les transmettre? The content of the Réponse. messages were similar to a normal letter and it was already typed. Était similaire à un Our normal. task Ils étaient déjà was to encrypt that letter of Notre text. Travail consistait à encoder ce text. And can I ask Question. whether you also decoded any messages that were addressed des messages to Mr. Q. Sampan from à Monsieur Q. the provinces or from the zones? Par les provinces ou par les zones? Regarding as to Réponse. whom the messages shall be sent to, I already uh, informed you earlier that I would act upon the instructions of Mr. Pond, who was my supervisor. Des messages que je dépendais des instructions de Monsieur Pond, qui était mon responsable direct. So I would just act following that instruction Donc, from Pond. Donc je ne faisais que suivre les instructions que Pond me donnait. Were there any messages Question. that were addressed to Mr. Q. Sampan in the first line, or was it the case that messages would be copies would be sent to him as directed by Pond? Est-ce qu'il recevait simplement des messages en copie, en copie euh, sur la base? Euh, d'instruction donnée par Paul. I did not know and I Réponse. did not see it. I did not I, I never received pas, instruction from Paul that I should copy a letter or message to kill some Paul. D'envoyer un message en copie à tous en Paul. Now, uh, staying with Mr. Question. Q. Sampan for another couple of minutes, you discussed his responsibilities. 
in your second statement, and I want to read that passage to you. Your Honours, this is E3 slash 67. The Khmer ERN is 00294538. French 00374935. And English zero zero four eight three nine six six and this is what you said according to the statement <coughs> quote as for Q Pan, he was in charge of the front and the government i.e. contacting Samdek Sihanouk meeting with foreign guests who came by the state invitation dividing other materials to the various bases and zones Telegram was not copied to Q Sampan My understanding is that Pol Pot might call him to meet personally Paul Pot pouvait l'appeler pour le rencontrer Now, personnellement. Proceed carefully in light of the chamber's instructions. Um, so I don't want you to speculate on this, but let me ask you first, is that a correct summary of what you said to the investigators? Je voudrais d'abord savoir si ce que je viens de vous lire résume bien ce que vous avez dit aux enquêteurs. Response. Réponse. The first part of the statement is correct to be la the event that I saw de la and witnessed. Bien à ce que vu and I ce dont été also noted the work uh, concerning the communication between Mr. Kiusampan and my section because he was in charge of the front and the government's task in distributing materials. And when I said I presumed, it is really obviously clear that I was not sure on Et that and the investigators kept dwelling on the thing that I said I was not clear, so I don't know. And again, at the beginning, the first portion of my statement is really clearly something the accurate statement of mine. Thank you. Uh, given that you said that you have no further direct knowledge of that issue, I won't, I won't ask you uh, additional questions on it. Je ne vais pas vous poser de questions complémentaires là-dessus. As we were discussing that um, minute of the standing committee, uh, the 9th of October 1975, a few moments ago, I want to just look at one brief passage which you have discussed with the investigators. Um, see if you can confirm for us your understanding. So this is document D200 slash 9.7 and the relevant ERNs are Khmer 00019119. French 00292872 and English 00183-394. And this passage which deals with administrative matters in one part says the following when a telegram comes in 
immediately when it is received, the office must hand it to the responsible section immediately so they can examine and consider it and make proposals to the standing committee. Some matters are urgent. Military matters are given to the military. Commerce matters to commerce, party matters to the party section. Therefore, if we move closer together, this will facilitate concentrating our workforce. When you were looking at that document, Mr. document, in your second statement, you indicated that it, was, uh, that it reflected the instructions that you had um, received from PON. Um, is that correct, that this was reflected generally of the way that your office general, was functioning? Cela correspondait à la façon dont fonctionnait votre bureau. Response. Réponse. The content of this statement relates to the regime at work for example, Cela concerne le régime de travail. the work that had to be done in exemple, accordance with le the standing committee. It is true that uh, communication had to be done Effectivement, immediately, la communication devait se faire immediately, expeditiously. And I already indicated uh, when I had to the code, the text, Comme and when the text had to be sent out immediately and on a timely manner, because I had to make sure that the, message, uh, the messages were sent to PON section immediately so that they could be then properly managed from there. Texts that were relevant to the military would be uh, managed and sent exemple, to the commerce and so on and so forth. Yeah. Thank you. And while we're on the military, Question. Um, parle was it the case that the military communicated with the party center using K18 uh, and your decoding en office, K18 et votre or did they communicate in bien, some other way? Que la communication fonctionnait autrement? Response. What I know is that Réponse. the military communication Ce que je sais and what I saw was that uh, the message would be sent avec through K-18 who then sent K uh, to the Le telegram decoding section. Les textes à la section de I have no des knowledge telegram. of how um, the message would be uh, communicated apart from that. Comment le message était communiqué en Thank you. So now, question. coming back to uh, some examples of telegrams, Je reviens à certains um, exemples de telegrams. perhaps uh, we can do this relatively quickly. I'll ask you On peut faire ça um, assez rapidement. perhaps two or three questions per telegram. Je vais vous poser deux, trois questions um, par telegram. Your Honours, this is document, document E3 E3 slash 871. E3 slash 871. It is another telegram and it is dated the 21st of March. Du 21 March. Appears to be 1976, but Apparemment perhaps we can ask the witness for more details. With your leave, I'll give him a hard copy. J'aimerais être autorisé à remettre un exemplaire papier de ce document au témoin. The President, you may proceed. Court officer, Président, you now instructed prie, to bring the hard copy to the witness for examination. Remettre ce document au témoin. 
and perhaps it can be shown on the screen also for everyone else. Um, Mr. Sapang, this is um, another telegram. Now, I acknowledge the copy is uh, not of a very Certes, good quality, um, pas de très bonne qualité. but I just want to see if we can look at a couple of Mais details que nous in examiner it. Quelques détails. The date towards the bottom is 21 March, la fin, on voit la date and du below that mars, we, we see um, plus bas, that it is authored by Chon. And then below that, we have Encore plus bas, the copy two line, il est and we see copy a Brother Noon, Brother bon Kiev, Noon, bon Brother Kiev, Van, bon Van, Office, le bureau, and Archive. Et les archives. Now we've looked at all of these individual ex individuals, Nous except for Brother Kiev. Could you tell us who Kiev. Brother Kiev was? Qui était bon Kiev. Response. Response. Brother Kiev was bon His Kyo. Excellency Son Sen, not son Mr. Kyo Sampan. Excellence Son Sen, et pas Monsieur Kyo Sampan. I understand. Thank you. L'accusation. Je comprends bien. Merci. Now, I just want to see if we can identify the Voyons the area si from which the document comes. Identifier le point d'origine du document. The beginning of the telegram states Au début du telegram, presented with respect il est to beloved and missed brother Paul remis avec and then below that respect as follows according Paul, to the report of comrade ensuite, Chuk on lit, selon sector 24 du Chuk, on the border situation la situation à la and then it goes on to describe certain ensuite, events which took place on the 13th of March 1976. Mars uh, 1976. Does that information help you identify where the telegram originated? A du telegram. Response. Response. The heading of the telegram states very clearly already that to beloved and Mr. Brother Paul, which was here referred Paul. to Paul Pot. Paul and with regard to the report uh, prepared by Comrade uh, Chuk, I don't Chuk, know who Chuk was, qui était sur but Sector Chuk. 24 was under the East zone. Partie de la zone Est. So this message was sent to donc, Paul Pot, and the person who Pot. prepared the telegram was the, the person by the name Chon, so this person could have been from Chon. the east, Cette as seen on other documents uh, on peut le voir from sur the east. De Thank you. Um, and as we look at Question. the paragraph starts, starting with number two, le paragraph commençant par le chiffre I'll just read a part of it. Je vais en lire as un for extrait. the grenade throwing en situation, Des grenades. And then a little bit further down, Ensuite, we have now captured bas, the guy who threw the grenade. This guy was a pacification agent. Ce type était then a little bit further down, in addition, we beat him up during interrogation Ensuite, about his organizational links en and got on to more than 20 or more of them in the grassroots of prayer stick. District. These guys' organizational links come from South Vietnam. Les réseaux de ce type sont au Vietnam du Sud. Do you recall um, whether you uh, translated this, this particular telegram? Vous Do you recall these words? Souvenez-vous avoir décodé ce telegram et vous souvenez-vous avoir vu ces mots? Response. I did not decode uh, this Je pas telegram, ce telegram, and I was not tasked uh, with 
dealing with these Je pas telegrams because when it comes to the east and when it comes to the situation along the Vietnamese and Cambodian la border, border de la Pon would uh, be in charge of Pon handling this and I was not involved. Pas moi. Thank you. Do you recall from the telegrams that you Merci. that you did Sur la base des télégrammes que vous avez décodés, um, souvenez-vous uh, s'il y a eu des cas analogues, à savoir in the que des gens auraient été interrogés dans certaines régions, tandis que les informations center. recueillies étaient envoyées par la suite au centre. Response. Réponse. As I already emphasized earlier on, Comme je déjà souligné, the reports on the internal matters, les rapports sur les questions including internes, the traitors, y compris le problème des I traîtres, had received very little messages, me sont none. arrivé en très petit nombre. So I would not wish to Elaborate on je n'ai reçu très peu, I'm voire aucun. Je ne veux donc pas m'étendre là-dessus. Je n'ai pas d'expérience personnelle dans ce domaine. Thank you. L'accusation. Looking at the, the form of the telegram, Prenons la forme sous laquelle se présente le télégramme. Translate this particular one. du fait également que vous n'avez pas décodé ce télégramme. Does it appear to you consistent with Selon other vous, telegrams? Selon vous, est-ce que le format cadre avec celui d'autres télégrammes qui so just at the form, not étaient the envoyés content. à l'époque. Je parle de la forme et non pas du fond. Response. Réponse. The form, I mean the heading and the ending, looked uh, ainsi que la partie finale du similar. However, the content of the report uh, would not Mais be the same le contenu because est différent. normally they would uh, list down en the général, report like with bullet points A, B, C, and puces, there was A, no B, proper. Format or template that people pas had to follow de modèle, uh, précis à suivre. in uniform. Pas so de modèle, uh, the report was based uniforme. on the practical situation, Le rapport uh, était uh, information they obtained from the field. Sometimes information they sur would terrain. talk about political Parfois, issues before the military ones, and it depends on people who prepared the telegrams. Il était question de l'armée, ça you. dépendait des auteurs du télégramme. Now, moving on to another telegram. Merci. Je passe à un autre telegram. This is document, document E3 slash 874. It is another telegram, Your Honor's dated 18th of July, 1976. With your leave, I will si give the witness a hard copy. J'aimerais faire remettre au témoin un exemplaire papier de ce document. Le président, the president, je vous en prie. you may proceed. Court officer is now started to take the document from Mr. Co-Prosecutor and have it handed to the witness for témoin. examination. Thank you, Mr. President. Accusation. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Sopang, looking at this document, um, again, it appears to start with a telegram number. À nouveau, 50 in his address to dear beloved and missed brothers. And it, in the first line, it discusses a situation as follows. 
de ce the situation on July 11 at 14 o'clock, the region's soldiers who were guarding Prayer Vihia Temple qui le temple took de eight AKs and two B-40s with them and deserted to Thailand. It's a, it's a long document, so I'm not going to um, read all of it. Je ne vais pas um, I want to really see whether you're able to recognize, savoir si vous êtes en uh, again, where the document originates. De déterminer um, so if we, can, if we turn to the, to the end of the document, Mr. Sapang, um, and this is at Khmer Yaren 00003704, French 00623913 and English 00003706. Final point three there indicates Rovin district has fairly much rain. And it is then signed with warmest revolutionary respect July 18, 1976, Hung. Are you able to identify the, the author of this document, Hung? Pouvez-vous dire quel est l'auteur de ce document? Response. Réponse. Yes, I am. Hung was the sector. Oui. Hong secretary. secretary. He was de the one who sent me to the education lui session. Qui I already said uh, at the beginning before the investigators that I did not know aux uh, who he was, although he sent me. Je dis que je ne savais pas qui Thank même you. Si I just wanted to see whether that was the same individual that you, si that you described and you have now confirmed that. Uh, for the record, this décrit. was also copied to pour mémoire, Brother Nuon, cela est Brother en Q, copie au frère Nuon, Brother Q, Van, Van, Office au bureau and Documentation. Et aux archives. Moving on to another document, Je passe Mr. Sapang. This is E3 slash 1023. Mr. President, I have a hard copy for the witness. Monsieur le Président, j'ai un exemplaire papier de ce document à l'attention du témoin. With your leave, I'll, I'll hand it to him. Si vous m'y autorisez, j'aimerais le lire. E3 slash 1023. E3 bar 1023. The President, you may proceed. Court officer, you are now instructed to take the hard copy and hand it over to the witness. Looking at this document, Mr. Sapang, it starts with telegram number 11, radio band 271. Caractère 271. It's discussing events which took place in September 1976. And it's signed also by Chon. Could be the same individual we saw earlier. La même personne the opening line says, respectfully sent to beloved and missed M870. De ban 870, qui are you able to tell us what that designation M870 refers to? Is it the same committee 870 or office 870 that we were discussing earlier? Is it the committee 870 or the bureau 870 that we were talking Response. M, Réponse. as you already Read, uh, it refers to M office. It is correct. Bureau. Um, eight seventy is similar M870 to office eight seventy. C'est la même chose que le bureau eight seventy. It refers 870. to the, the central committee. Il s'agit du comité central. Even the term 
Angka 870 is always uh, interchangeably used Le terme to refer to M870 était aussi or utilisé indifféremment pour renvoyer à 870, bureau 870 ou M870, soit le centre. So do I understand correctly that Question. all of those various Donc, designations, toutes ces appellations, Anka 870, M870, M870, renvoient au comité central. En tout cas, c'est ainsi que vous voyez les choses, n'est-ce pas Response. Réponse. That's my understanding. Yes. C'est effectivement comme ça que je voyais les choses. Want to look at the content of this telegram? Concernant le contenu du Telegram. For a brief moment, um, and see if you're able to assist us. If you're not, si uh, please aider. tell us. Pas le cas, it says the following. Voici ce qu'on dit dans ce Telegram. We would like to report on the situation de faire at the boundary of sector 23 as follows. At 8:30 a.m. on 4 à 8 September 1976, the enemy dropped an audio recording device down at Samrong Tme village, village Tulsday subdistrict, Chantria district. district de When it arrived on the earth, il est tombé it terre, produced constant white noise. Pareil, a produit un bruit at that time, the cattle guarding children moment, picked it up des and disconnected des electric wire until no more noise existed. Et on a arraché les fils électriques jusqu'à ce que le bruit cesse d'être dit. This appears to be discussing a relatively minor event, um, at least assez mineur, on the face of it. À um, vue, en but tout cas. my question is. Was it, was it common for zones to be reporting um, a wide range of events, such as an audio recording device falling out of the sky par exemple, and being discovered by some children? Appareil tombé du ciel et ramassé par des enfants. Response. Réponse. Whatever strange situation it was concerning security concern or safety y avait un incident affectant la sécurité, par exemple, and also même si the cet incident pouvait avoir l'air bizarre, areas, y avait des incidents à la frontière également, un rapport echelon. devait être envoyé à l'échelon supérieur. Thank you. And moving right Question. along. To another document. Merci. Je passe um, and dans la foulée à un autre document. Moving forward in time, Your Honours, and nous avançons ici um, dans le temps. We don't have uh, many more, but nous I wish to um, de documents. show them to the witness. Les montrer aux témoins. This is E3 slash 882, another telegram document dated 4 3, August 1977. Du 4 août 77. J'aimerais remettre ce document au témoin. E3 bar 882. Le Président, je vous en prie, d'audience, veuillez remettre ce document au témoin. Mr. Sopang, as you familiarize yourself with the document, je vous laisse um, prendre connaissance de ce document. I'll indicate for the record that we only have a partial translation mémoire, in English, um, and I think a complete translation in French. En anglais, et um, il y a, je pense, une traduction so what I will do is attempt to summarize je or read from a draft translation that we have in English, and uh, I want to see en if anglais. you can et nous verrons Confirm whether or not, si vous pouvez um, the contents préciser I'm are, si le contenu correct, que Mr. je Sapin. vous lis est exact. So the document starts with 4 August 1977. 4 août Telegram 1977. Telegram 1474. And it is entitled to respectfully 
le titre Presented to Respected à and Beloved MO81. MO Are you familiar with 81. this particular code, Mr. Sopan, MO81? Connaissez-vous ce code, MO81? I did not see M81. Je n'ai pas vu. If it was M81, M87, it could mean M87. M870. Cela veut peut-être dire M870. Mais je n'ai jamais vu qui que ce soit utiliser And cette appellation M81. Ce code n'existait pas. Be M87. Ça devrait être M87. Parce M87, ça doit être une abréviation. Correctement à la question. Autrement dit, And si vous avez la réponse, donnez-la. Si vous ignorez la réponse, dites-le. Évitez de présenter vos propres conclusions. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Le procureur. Merci, Monsieur le Président. But uh, some witness, le témoin. let me provide my response that I did not know because I never saw this number je before. Ne le sais pas parce que je vu ce code. Thank you. Um, for the record, I'll le procureur, merci. Uh, indicate that the document is copied to je précise que ce document Uncle, est en copie. Uncle Nguyen, Brother Van, à oncle, Brother Vaughan, oncle Nguyen, Brother Q, Frère Van, Frère Vaughan, Office, Frère Q, and Documentation. Au bureau et aux archives. Uh, Mr. President, if I may, for one second. Maître Carnavas, Monsieur le Président, avec votre permission. Uh, I don't see the purpose in mentioning anything Je for the record. The gentleman indicated that he didn't know. Pourquoi? Time to move on. What is the purpose other than perhaps to signal something to the witness or to try to give them some information that he didn't have? There's no reason to put it in the record. It's in the record already, part of the file. What is the purpose? Ce document est déjà versé au débat, donc euh, versé au dossier, si je reprends l'interprète. Donc pourquoi continuer à le citer Thank you, Mr. President. I fully support the objection raised by Council Michael Canavas. Je me joins à Maître Canavas pour soutenir son objection et je me statement made by the prosecutor. Aux déclarations and du that means it is equivalent to the conclusion. And that should be made at the end of the hearing. Your Honours, um, one of the reasons I do this is because le documents are available in three languages. Uh, we can't project all of them on the screen at the same time. Um, I'm simply doing this to uh, contextualize the document. Um, I'm certainly not adding anything. I'm simply reading from the document. Um, Uh, I, I don't see any uh, improper purpose to it. Um, if anything, it assists the chamber in understanding uh, the, the nature of the document and who the people uh, and who it names. Um, I'm in your hands, uh, Mr. President. I'm happy to, uh, to not read out the recipients. I just think it saves time um, and it makes the relevance of a document more obvious. Thank you. President, Mr. Prosecutor, you may continue with your questioning Monsieur as the document is part of the case file. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, procureur, merci, Monsieur le Président. There is a 
brief reference here, Mr. Sopang, in paragraph B, and that appears on the first page of the document in all three languages. It states recently there is also news that B, the Kampuchean army, has committed mass killings of 1,000 ordinary Vietnamese people at Ha Tien in Kien Jiang province. Full stop. Um, do you recall from, in your experience, in, in translating these telegrams, um, do you recall reading similar reports uh, in relation to the conflict with Vietnam? Avez-vous le souvenir d'avoir vu ce genre de rapport concernant les relations avec le Vietnam? No, I did not know that. I never in court uh, that document, and I never saw that document. Je n'ai jamais encodé so ce document, je n'ai jamais vu ce document. So I reserve my rights not uh, to speak Donc, about that document uh, which I did not know. Je préfère ne pas parler de ce document dont Thank je n'ai pas connaissance. And just one last question on that Le document. Um, the author at the very end is an individual called Chien. On voit que l'auteur uh, du document est un dénommé Chien. Do you know Chien. Who that individual was, Chien. Savez-vous qui était Chien? No, I did not. No, je ne sais pas. Thank you. Now moving on to uh, another category of document, which you've discussed with the co-investigating judges. This is document D200-9, slash point five, and it is, a, it is an instruction of Office 870, dated the 3rd of January 1978. I have a hard copy for the witness. Yes, you may proceed, court officer. Could you deliver the, co the document for the witness examination? Le transmettre au témoin. If I can ask you to uh, look at the, the the heading of that document, uh, as I indicated earlier, instruction of document. Office 870, subject, points of view, stance, and ways of defeating the Yuan invaders. And then the document has a number of uh, subheadings. If we can show that on the screen, um, dans ce document, Mr. Sopang, you can see that the document has a number of handwritten annotations in it. Um, in your second interview, audition, when you looked at those annotations, vous avez vu you, annotations you said the following. Vous avez dit this is document E3-67, Khmer ERN 00294-544, French ERN 0034-9-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0
These red letters were in Pol Pot's own handwriting. I can remember because I used to see the handwriting of Pol Pot, which were brought to me by Pon for translation, or when he personally wrote short messages and sent them through Pon to me for translation. Just want to confirm that that's an accurate summary of your statement. Est-ce que c'est bien ce que vous avez dit? But yes, that is correct. Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. Now, in the interest of time, I'm not going to read Question. from the document. Temps, it speaks for itself. But I want to look at one section towards the end. Je me réfère à une and this is we're on document D200-9.5, Khmer ERN 00381-222, French ERN 00381-222. Seven five four seven one five and English zero zero seven zero seven three eight eight. The document states note this instruction must be distributed and learned again and again within the party committee of zones, sectors, districts cooperatives, battlefield committees, division committees, regiments, battalions, platoons, companies, groups, and combatants, and each target commanding committee, so as to exchange experience and improve the performance regularly. And then further down, the document is signed by Committee of 870. Le est signé, Mr. Sopan, do you recall Sopan. instructions such as this one uh, being issued by Committee Rappelé of 870 and directed to all zones, sectors, and committees throughout the country? Yes, I recall that uh, there was oui. this kind of document. Je me souviens de ce type de document. However, it was not in a corrected version that is shown here. It was already a final version that Mais I saw back then. Ce n'était pas une version comme thank you, prosecution. Avec thank you, Moi, witness. Ce que vu à cette époque, the time is appropriate for a short break. We will take a break for 20 Merci. minutes and Nous resume at 3 p.m. Court officer, could you assist the witness during the break? And have him return to the courtroom at 3 p.m. Some change culture.